Welcome everybody to the point and figure charting course from Interactive Brokers. My name is Michael Noss. I'm a chartered market technician with StatsEdgeTrading.com. Point and figure charting is something that's very, very interesting. That is both very old and not very well used right now. So it's one thing that was created because technology wasn't around and it was very easy to use as a charting. But like we're going to talk about later in the course, there are some technological benefits that I think have made this very interesting. The other thing I really like about point and figure charting is it's simple, right? We're not adding a bunch of crazy indicators to our chart. We're not going to, you know, look at the 17 lines crossing to decide whether or not to make a decision. We are simplifying things and quite often, especially in the trading world, simple is better. So what we're going to look at here uh, in this episode is just the history of it. Basically, what is it that we're talking about? Where did this come from? What general benefits do I think this is going to have? And then in future episodes, we're going to go deeper into it on uh, how to generate these different charts within Trader Workstation, on how we could potentially use them, and the very specific details on how these work, because they are a little bit different than your kind of standard charting that everyone knows today. So right off the bat, where did this come from? I think this gentleman, uh, a lot of people have heard of, Charles Dow, who created the Dow Jones and company, but also created, more importantly, in my opinion, Dow Theory. And Dow Theory is one of the basics of technical analysis. He talks about primary trends and secondary trends before pretty much anyone else did it. He also comes up with the Dow Theory of Markets, which talks about how markets interlace and, and how markets can kind of benefit or show us some warning signs based off what's uh, showing up as strong, what's showing up as weak, that type of thing. And these are still used today. They're modified a little bit, but they are still used today as ways to look at the market. So he created this point and figure charting. And again, we're going to talk about that he did it because it was very simple when it came to the inability of technology. So if we're going to talk about what is the difference between normal charts, which we have up here, the candlestick charts that we all know and love, and then we have point and figure charts. Now, the biggest difference here you're going to notice is obviously in the graphics, right? We don't have candlesticks, we have these X's and O's, but we don't have time in the equation. So the biggest change when it comes to point and figure chart is we're removing things. That's one thing that I like about this particular style, this particular way of charting is that most people try to add more complexity to what it is they're doing. They try to continue to add complexity, add complexity, add complexity. When it comes to point figure charts, we're actually removing complexity from it. We are removing things that could cause us problems when it comes to the amount of time that something occurs. So candlestick charts, again, use price and they use time. Point figure charts only use price, only focus on price. And as a great mentor of mine always said, only price pays. So here we're seeing two charts. We are seeing uh, two charts of the same stock over the same period of time. So this is Tesla. And down here on the bottom left, you can see Tesla on a daily chart. And notice all of the spikes and, and the jumps up and down and the craziness in the graph. Over here, we have a chart of Tesla over the pretty much the same time frame, 2020 onwards, but just using point and figure charts. Now you'll notice that sometimes, right, the date here is this is an entire year. And then sometimes it's much longer than the time frame. So the time frame is not exact. But what it's doing is it's smoothing everything out. Again, focus on the, the choppiness in this chart and whether that would be something that'd be easy to take trades in or easy to invest in versus the smoothness of this chart right here and the simplicity of decision making uh, when it would come to be trading a name. That's the main thing that we're going to talk about. So. This is the intro lesson. Again, we're just getting started on where this thing came from, what I think this could benefit to you guys. In the next few episodes, we're going to get in exactly what these X's or O means, how we draw them, when they get drawn, all of that nitty gritty we're going to get into. We're going to end with maybe just some basic trading patterns when it comes to the point figure chart so that when you're done this course, you can kind of walk away and say, okay, this is something that I may add or I may not add to my trading repertoire. So I just need to 
figure it out. And it's one of those, there's many different ways to trade. There's many different ways to look at the market. This may not be a way for you, but it's going to be a way for some. And that's what I love about this. So many different ways that we can take trades, so many different ways that we can analyze the market. We should expose ourselves to all of it because we don't know which ones are really going to resonate.